Okay, let's move on to LSF, dude. This guy's toast talks about Macy of Lowe, Aiden Ross, Erop, Soda Pop, and Nick Molina, Hassan, and XQC. Someone said eight minutes, though. Okay, dude. I, I, what is this? What is this flex, dude? Look at this guy. Look at this yep. fucking guy, dude. Eight minutes? All right, perfect. Eight minutes. He said it's eight or ten. Which one? You know, it doesn't matter. Whatever. You know, the meta is to talk about other streamers on LSF now. Easy. Okay. If you look on the front page of LSF, it's all streamers talking about other streamers. Okay. So I'm just going to say their name so that they can clickbait the title. Okay. This guy still talks about Ms. Kiff, Ludwig, Aiden Ross, E. Rob, Soda Poppin, Nick SMH, Molina, I didn't see. I needed to Hassan, Will Neff, who's a super nice guy, by the way. <laughs> am, I, am I forgetting anyone of LSF? Oh, XQC. Well, let's go. I mean, I talked about all well, their favorite. We forgot someone. It's going to be. We can't clip him. He's on Facebook. Yeah. What are you going to do, bro? When you get to the top of the LSF, like, you, you think the LSF guys are going to be like, all right, time to go to Facebook? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Jesus. Damn, Will got the cutoff, dude. Will got the cutoff from the title, though. Maybe because he said uh, he qualified that he was a nice guy. Tell me about this Nick Molina. I heard he and his girlfriend have a lot of arguments on stream. Water popping lives with them. <laughs> Nicholas Dobolina, Mr. Nick Dobolina. He's good friends with Hassan and Ira, Ir Arab. What? Not an OTV -er talking about my favorite Texas stream is my future Canadian juicer. Highest subs on Twitch ever, Andy, and the communist two-head, five-body, and his wife. <laughs> oh, my God. Pokemon left out drama at OTV. I've always known that Toast and Pokemon had beef and hated each other. You could tell in many older clips like this one. Honestly, it's amazing that OTV has held on for so long. You can tell they hate each other. I predict they will disband in a month. Watch the clip. Oh! Fucking got me, dude. Fucking Force End. Fucking Force End fans, dude. God damn it. It was so well crafted, dude. It was so fucking well. That was good. That was fucking good. That was actually good. Wait. Not as good as the top of the hour ad break, though, that I fucking totally forgot after I ran, after I talked about the segue, totally forgot to actually run because I read the chatters uh, uh, segue originally. So is that, is that a dub for me? I think so. I think so. I think that's still, I'll, I'll take that. That's still mine. Don't, don't copium that. Do not. It's top of the hour, folks. Um, of course, uh, you can avoid the ad breaks if you subscribe with a Twitch Prime for free or with a $5 subscription. Uh, you can also use an ad blocker or a VPN. So that's the ADHD dub. We're calling it. The authorities, authorities called in and said that that's a dub for me. Sorry. Uh, here's the one minute ad break now. Who else make a dub? Yeah, if you like, like, think about it like this. Like, this is an L, this is an L. And then you do that and then smush them together. That's a dub. That's how it works. You just got fact and logic. Pogo tomato time just for sub stop. 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 Okay. Pass boggies. That was cool, though. We, we got started with a Rust server rerun. We've decided to wipe and reset Rust server in order to create a new, more enjoyable experience based off past iterations in the servers. We believe the best direction to go in a server sorry. filled with content creators, most of whom are not experienced Rust players. This server that caters to both RP and PvP. 
The theme of the server will be Wild West. Just a few features we're adding. Designated safe zone with rules, gun nerfs, changes, restrictions to help balance one RPPV overall gameplay more. This will not only make PvP and PvE more challenging, fair, and balanced, but it will also make the fights last longer, be more fair and rewarding. Interesting. Okay. Red Dead roleplay? I mean, I'm already doing that. I'm Hank Pecker, folks. Korean auntie enters the North Korea gate. I came to the wrong place. What? Guys, I came to the wrong place. Wait, where am I? Oh my god, is she in the demilitarized zone? <laughs> Did she just enter the DMZ, dude? What the fuck? Wait, why am I around? Military. She's such a Hasanabi fan that she defected to North Korea to see the glorious Jusha with her own two eyes, dude. That's when you watch too much of my content, okay? She entered Paju just north of Seoul, 10 minutes or so from the DMZ. Is this a military base? <laughs> Accidentally defecting <laughs> the Democratic People's Republic of Korea! <laughs> Bro, that's actually that's actually incredible live streaming content. Like, <laughs> no joke. Like, I would love if I had like if I was invincible. Okay, if I had invincibility, I would love to fucking go to. I would love to go to North Korea. It'd be sick. Pretty good. You'd be like Zizek in Tito's Yugoslavia and get in trouble for not being sufficiently Marxist. Sufficiently Marxist. It would actually be possible to stream, but internet plans with access to foreign websites are very expensive. There's a Polish YouTuber who did an IG stream. Oh my God, I forgot. How could I forget? This is, I, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before, but like, or I actually have done this before. I don't know why I said that, but, um, I, uh, Austin Ox is going to have a field day with me singing, right? Well, guess what, dude? Austin Ox blasted an incredible fucking new fire ass video. Okay. Shouts out to Austin Ox. Uh, once again, he did it again. The mad lad did it again, dude. Look at this. Look at this video. Aiden Ross plus 100 RP. Let's watch. I forgot. While I was talking about Aiden Ross, I should have probably watched this, but here. I just didn't want this shit to get too crazy. Why is there a helicopter? Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> SSB! It's just be on top, bro. Depository parking lot in Sports Cut. We have a 503 white male adult fleeing the area. LAPD circle, bro. You can't hide, boys. We will track you down. LAPD circle. 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 LAPD circle
Bostonox, you son of a gun, dude. You did it again. You fucking did it again, dude. So perfect. It would have been busted, not wasted, but hey, whatever. Place GTA enough to know that the radar is showing someone probably fighting lost MC bikers at Hookies on Great Ocean Highway, North Chumash. Jesus Christ. The quintessential W shimmer. Look at how fucking cool he is. I mean, really. Trim is a full time job by avoiding the puddle. Do this for a living. <laughs> um, dude, we've, we've already seen this, dude. I, I, I've already watched that. Have you ever been to the real hookies, Neptune's Net in Malibu? Um, I don't think so. Kiss. Austin Ox. 821 Bounty. Thank you, Jay Prowl, for the 28 months. Wow, I just called out a sub, dude. That's weird. Here, juice this up, boys. What are you doing? Bounty. He was definitely that kid in high school who wanted to be a part of a popular group, even though they thought he was a weirdo, but he tagged along anyway. Can't believe I just thanked the sub on accident, dude. That was weird. I will never do that again. I'm sorry. You posted a Reddit link? Nobody's going to like that. Oh, wait. Did I post the Reddit link? Oops. Sorry. I thought I was posting the Twitter link. That was an L, boys. That was an L. Well, I mean, while you're there, if you clicked on that link while you're there, you might as well fucking, you know, get involved with the OK Buddy shit. WTF. Just another e -Rob clip. I know sign language. My mom. Wait, what happened? My mom teaches sign language. That's her job in school. And so, and you know. Our so curate much. just broke. I'm not even kidding. It just broke. You broke my curate. It, it like, it literally just, I hit the power button and it just, all the power went off. No. You tripped the, the thing, Eric. What do you mean? Eric! What? This is soaking wet. Did you pour water back there? Oh, no, I poured it in the thing. <laughs> you you poured water on the on this and you plugged it in and it freaking fried the outlet. This is soaking wet. <laughs> That's like Oh my god, dude. Nick and Melina looking kind of different. <laughs> oh no. Great fucking comment from the chatter, dude. That's a dub. That's a W boys. That's a W comment. But a L Rob for <laughs> how the fuck has he survived for so long? If he does shit like that, dude, I don't know. But what is this crust on his T-shirt, dude? What a perfect. Oh my God! Why is he so crusty? Come on, E Rob. Are you dumb? I poured it in That's the day. So dangerous. You know sign language. Can't believe this dude's a dad, bro. A virgin cannot believe his eyes when 10 million fireflies. She was not banned for the makeout clip. Wait, what? What makeout clip? It's the nope. I what? What? It's the what? What the frick? Oh my god. My ear is ringing again. What the fuck? What is going on? Why is my ear ringing? This, I'm clicking through this clip. This is not like a, like a peck. This is, what? This is a solid eight seconds. She was not banned. For I'm going to admit that I rewatched the clip and I watched the uh, full, like, not the full VOD, but like I, I said, watch more. To see more context. And they 100% are A, queer baiting, even though she might be bi. And B, literally says the exact same thing that I said. As far as like, that would not be all that weird if a, if a woman and a man were uh, engaging in that action. But when it's a woman and, uh, and a woman, it's like um, you feel differently about it. 
Okay. But it's definitely queer rating when it's performed for the Damn male here. gaze. I need to touch grass kick. Anyway, we're not even going to talk about that, but like she literally flips the camera over to the other girl and her boyfriend and they kiss for a little bit too. And she's like, it's okay when they do it, but it was kind of also, it's like a gray area one. It's a, it's kind of a gray area clip because like she literally also says like, she's like, doing a wink and a nod to be like, yeah, we are in love with one another. And it's a, you know, it's a, we're just in a relationship in love with one another. This is my girlfriend. Like, you know what I mean? Weird for LSF to leave that second part out. Yeah. I don't know why LSF clipped that out of context. I think the dude who was so horny that like they forgot like additional context that would make it look worse. I'm not even kidding. I think like this is the one time one of these fucking weirdo incels that clipped that shit was so horny that they literally did not clip like the, the next 30 seconds that would prove additional context that would make her look bad. Like hey, make her look worse. Because you know LSF this. posts stuff like that to just like get people banned to be like, oh, fuck this. You know, for uh, sluts on this platform, blah, 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 all this shit. Like, which, by the way, I have no issue with. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think the clip was great. And um, that implies that they know what queer baiting is? No, 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 no. But, like, she also is, like, making it seem, like, uh, heavily yeah. implying that she did. Um... If it isn't sexual content, could you kiss your mom like that? Wait, what? I've never, I've never said that's not sexual, you fucking dumb idiot, dude. I used dude. to think all streaming was dumb and would never watch it. And Why do people, I think people get, January. it's the same kind of horniness that people have that led to that dude clipping something out of context that made uh, it look more defensible. And it's the same kind of horniness that people have when they like think that they uh, are going to own me. So they just like literally can't think for that moment. Like, what I was trying to say. So to get strolled on a whole new level. All right, this game sucks. Next game. Let me drag this back. Wait, wait, what is this? Wait, Thanks. check my sex. Hold on. Is this a picture? All that boring. Again. <laughs> Who is this? Who did that? <laughs> I recently. I'm going to come completely annihilate Hassan with this comment. Not really. Since when is Hassan a wannabe e-boy? Since I fucked your mom and that's what she said she's into. Sorry. Actually, not sorry at all. She came a lot. She loved it. Fuck, dude. Imagine getting owned so aggressively. Holy shit. Wasn't me, Erob221, on my way. You want anything from McDonald's? Misgift banned Erob. Misgift banned Erob. Hey, I'm moving to Texas soon. We should hang out in Amaranth. Cutie Leaks is on's favorite party game. Okay. This is not real. Okay. I'm going to qualify it. This is not a real thing. You guys, you guys want to know Hassan's favorite party game? If there's a null in the conversation, Hassan's like, so guess who I guess guess who you know that I've had sex with? Oh my god, that's not true. <laughs> what the that fuck? Why would you lie about that this? Is Why would she lie? Oh, I mean, well, I think I know what the real reason is. It's because 
she walked over when I was talking to probably Ludwig and they had asked me about that exact question, which I never uh, replied to. That's crazy. That's wow. You yeah, it's four. Well, the real question is what Cutie did elaborate on. Yeah, and then she also said like, and he doesn't, re and he doesn't reveal any of it or whatever the fuck. But you know, that's Sorry. not guys obviously. Austin Ox did not fucking clip that part. You son of a bitch! You vegan bastard! My mom, Sag, but definitely not viewer's wife as hell. Wife as he still hasn't followed through his promise to impregnate a chatter's wife. We're waiting, Asan. Poor weird impregnate chat, Pago. Glad my mom is finally getting the love and attention she deserves all these years after the divorce. Feel strong, man. <laughs> Caught an 8K. Doja Cat and Cara Delevingne have been mentioned before. Who else? Bo Burnham. Cara Delevingne rejected him after he dished Doja Cat. Anytime I mention someone who's like famous, I guess like it means that I fucked them. Is that what's going on? This motherfucker ditched Doja Cat. He has to go on the Austin show or some shit. I think it might have been the scuff, which is worse, uh, which is even worse. It's a fetish. It's not like Doja Cat is particularly hot or anything. Fucking, are you kidding me? Doja Cat is insanely hot, dude. Fucking Chad moment. Yo. Deleted. I mean, she's one of the most famous supermodels on earth and an actress. I think she's a lesbian. I think she's lesbian. Rice gum, Sam Cedar, and Ethan Klein, Barack Obama. Those are people he's proclaimed he slept with. <laughs> yeah, Doja Cat's very hot. Bonus Aiden Roth, Aiden Roth, Aiden Roth memes since all the threads are gone and now I have nowhere else to post it. This man's number of women he's been with must be in the hundreds. What? Okay, there's no bad comments in here. I'm, I'm looking for some bad comments. Holy fuck, his mic is so dog shit. I've officially been part of the leftist hive mind for one year now. How did this happen? Love you, Hassan and Chad Hassel. Has Hassan reacted to MatPat talking about Scott Cawthorn? What? Who's Scott Cawthorn? You mean Madison Cawthorn? Why are you looking for bad uh, comments, you masochist? JCS tweets about Hassan. We already know this one. JCS tweet compliments Hassan. 398 comments. Literally everyone is saying, oh, the FNAF guy. Oh, okay. Everyone is saying that, uh, you know, I'm fucking, I'm an asshole or whatever. People are just like, people go to like insane lengths to just lose their mind over this. Um, we already talked about this though. Once again, kindly requesting a Hassan Lahun refrain from streaming our private content on his Twitch. Your reactions are great and feel free to use anything from our YouTube channel, but it's pi if it's pirated on Patreon or re-uploaded by some rando, please just watch it off stream. Um, yeah, I, uh, uh, we already fucking, I replied to it and I was like, I'm really sorry. But um, JC has asked Hassan not to do a thing. Hassan apologized. He explained his thought process and said he won't do it again. Instead, he helped with getting fan channels, take stuff down. Moral of the story, not a big deal already sorted, but I already got my pitchfork out. People like, like if you look at, if you, the comments were, it had like a hundred fucking comments before the uh, upvotes came in. Immediately, people were just like, Hassan streaming pirated exclusive content from the Patreon? What the fuck? That's incredibly scummy. So scummy, dude. Not at all what happened, but still fuck Hassan. This is gonna, this is gonna become a hate thread no matter the facts. This is literally exactly what happened. Presumably, you're assuming they meant Hassan watched on Patreon, but that comment is most likely referring to the fact that the content is from their Patreon. As I said, that's not what their comment says. You're making assumptions. You can be read as Hassan watched content that is from their Patreon. Dude, Redditors get so horny about the most, like, like the most idiotic non-drama controversy. 
they they get so horny. They get so horny. They're like, oh, there's got to be drama right now, right? This is going to be drama. Hubbo and Chad dance. The, what, that's what's up. Mitch, that's Miss Jones. Imagine, wake up and Please strap on that bottle. Okay, I got to pee while this plays. Okay, Hubbo. I got to sleep. <laughs> that's why I peed in box. Ew, dude. <laughs> yeah. Mitch, what you doing? Still, you don't seem, you don't seem equipped for this. What the fuck, dude? They're fucking losing that shit, dude. It's so well made. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just blown away by how well made this music video is. Peter Box. Ew, dude. <laughs> yeah. Mitch, what you doing? There it is. That's what's up. That's Miss jo Myth Jones, dude. We're not going to go again, dude. You already know. Hassan Chat protects Cutie from his disgusting mansplaining. This was so funny. They Woo. consider consensual sex between whites and non-whites to be genocide. That's how oh profoundly privileged God. they are that they think that uh, it's genocide when people have sex with one another. Jesus Christ. That's a bit of a mansplain, bruv. Oh, I'm sorry. I should just say terms like white genocide to unsuspecting individuals without describing them next time. Because I have I just no clue what it means. Imagine being the Bloomberg Foreheads. Supporter. Hassan knows that I don't know what it means. Just because he's a man explaining it to me doesn't mean he's mansplaining, you piece of shit. Are you, are you going to let Cutie do anything or are you just going to make her sit here while you mansplain politics? I'm having fun! No, you I don't understand. I would say if I wasn't having fun. Box. No, You'd Cutie, you don't understand. We have some real DSA fucking nice love. guys in the chat, the okay? Content, big dog. Oh, my God. You're having a good no, you don't understand. You're being victimized right now by an oppressive man. And my male feminist will defend you. And they... Okay. So I haven't seen this thread yet. But let me tell you what my favorite comment that I know is going to be in here. Are you ready for this? This is such a consistent take from baboons on the internet on on videos like this that pop off whenever i like yell at my chat to correct their behavior there's always an idiot in the in the comments they're going oh you reap what you sow dude this is what happens when you're an sjw marxist radical uh, liberal Raphael warnock this is the community that you built and it's like how are you watching a video of me correcting that kind of behavior in an effort to make sure that people don't do that while simultaneously not recognizing that, like, I've built a community with these values or something? By the way, shouts out to Cutie. She was fucking awesome at uh, the banana peels. How are you debating a comment you didn't already read? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Controversial. A song creates a monster, then his surprises turns ag turned against him. Poor guy. Yep, good banana peel. Not sure this is a monster he created when he makes examples out of banning people with the overcorrective takes like this multiple times a day. Love the streams, Hussein. I mean, he does ban a lot of them, but I remember his job is to convince other people, so unless someone is too far gone and really pissed off, he doesn't ban them. 
Jesus Christ, these are the type of people that were making Miss feel like shit on Friday's stream. It's the type of community Miskiff is cultivated, which is, is a CX background and lots of Zoomers from Minecraft. They see Miskiff make edgy jokes. They're more like to do it. I don't know what that means. I guess there are certain caveats to being so radically left wing. Number two. It's crazy that chat has both Giga Chads and the Soy's motherfuckers on Twitch. Hassan casts a wide net. Gaming himbo political Andy. He can get stunlocked on almost any topic. It's truly endearing. No, he is mansplain mansplaining. However, that should not be an issue. I don't think chat realizes the watchers can and will make new accounts after being banned by a zombie for no reason just to watch them if they really care. So it's not that I'm a pre reader or a pre watcher, it's that. Some Republicans are unironically the most predictable people on the planet. They have incredibly smooth brains. Like they have used the iron press to just like smoothen it out. Make sure that there's no fucking wrinkles up there. So it's so easy. It's like always the same talking points. Oh, imagine being a socialist while also being rich. Uh, running ads for fucking uh, Jeff Bezos. I fucking hate this Marxist piece of shit. Uh, this is the community that he's cultivated. So now, you know, live in it. You made your bed, now live in it. It's always the same shit. That's actually a good idea. Chompy being able to eat sub gold. Are you fucking serious? After all, I... You're trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I made you. <laughs> And you dare Get challenge me after all Get these him. years. You defy me. I can't tell if this is a cat that like wants to be let like see this is the thing about cats. I never know if that that's a cat that just wants to be let down. Like they're annoyed that they're on a lap or they're just like having fun. Like I feel like this is a cat that's just like this is my game. Like this is how I have fun by Fucking up the human that loves me, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not mutually exclusive. Get him. You doing this shit? Get him. You doing this shit? Chompy's actually ready to beat your ass. Do it. Hit me again. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Cats will give you a warning. This definitely just wasn't fun for this patient. cat. If cats don't have another cat to play with, they just take it out on their human. Is that a fucking white claw? No, it's a monster, or not a monster, it's game fuel. Six months has pains. You forget that the human. Uh, yeah, that's true. W nerd. Damn it, I just spilled a little bit. Oi, profits, one, one. Yeah, Go on, England. Score some fucking goals, bruv. Maya has been around Amaranth too long. Sacrifices we make for art. Right. Amaranth is right. <laughs> Morals are boring and expensive. <laughs> yes. Tell them. Time to get an OnlyFans. What? So I can buy my boyfriend all the smoothies he wants. Hey, Arjan, what's your take on there Turkish you band cats? You, you did not. You actually did not just say that. Sacrifices we make for art. Right. Yeah, is right. <laughs> Let's see the comments on Managed this one, to dude. Even with the epic game of fuel resellable Liddell. Well, Miz did not like that one at all. Look at his face. Yes, he's been honest about this before. He pretty much implies he'd break up with Maya if she ever started OnlyFans law. Maya would make so much money. 
she should post tit pics. I'm not clicking come fart sniffers link that says she should post tit pics, dude. Mariskip's ego can't handle Maya making more money than him. That's actually true. I mean, he probably just doesn't like the thought of everyone seeing nude pictures of his girlfriend. I mean, wasn't he having a breakdown to the XQC because Maya had a higher view count than him? Lol. Wait, really? What the fuck? Sort by controversial. We know you want to. Dude, I really do. I really do. You're so right. Maya can start OnlyFans if she wants. She can. Doesn't mean the Miz will stay, though. Please do not degrade yourself for currency. Amaranth is hardly a good role model, and Maya is just saying this to avoid an awkward situation. What? Why? Like, bro, you say this, okay? The people that say this, the people that say this work at McDonald's, dude. It's called capitalism. You are literally degrading yourself for currency every fucking day. I, I do not understand. Like, you think your job is is not degrading when you're a fucking dumbass manager on right who's now. only, like, above you in a, in a role because he's been there for a longer period of time than you, yelling at you about how you can't take, uh, you know, breaks to go watch Hasanabi that's in the fucking bathroom? Like, you, you think that's not degrading, dude? You're an adult and another fucking adult that's like only been there for a little bit longer than you is like controlling every aspect of your life. One guy in the comments compared OnlyFans to slavery and got praised for it. Oh my Lord. You coming in with wage cut takes? I mean... It is, though. It's the truth. Oh, like, I don't understand. Everybody degrades themselves for work. Like, saying sex work is slavery is like saying all work is slavery, and there is somewhat of a truth uh, to that sentiment. Hey, but guys. OnlyFans is, like, significantly better as a way to make money than your average wage slave job. And on top of that, like, for example, when you sell your body to the fucking armed forces of the U.S. military, you are literally selling your body and fucking your body up so you can get a college education, at least with OnlyFans. And, and the outcomes aren't even positive, not for you and not for the people whose, like, land you are on and invading, okay? At least with sex work, it's like, you know, you're, you're making people happy. They're like cranking their fucking, they're beating their meat to your shit. Well, it's wrong. Both are wrong, lol. Then what job is right? Unless you're a crusty anarchist living on the fucking streets, never using uh, deodorant. Like what, what job is out there that is like ethical in that, with that respect? Have you seen her OnlyFans content? It's not really crankable. Amaranth's OnlyFans content? I've never seen it. <sighs> when Amaranth is around, she acts more freely and accepting of her work and jokes about opening OnlyFans, etc. But when she isn't around, she's talking about how she stuff she does on her stream should be banned and is objectifying her on Twitch. Now asking Maya if she finds OnlyFans so offensive. Getting to watch firsthand why whoring has been social taboo in every human culture for thousands of years. What a time to be alive. <laughs> I don't think this is a good take. It's an appeal to tradition. Yeah, whoring has been considered taboo. Do you want to know why? Are you ready for this? In the aftermath of the Black Plague and in the aftermath of, of uh, you know, death and destruction with, so much, with a significantly higher infant mortality rate, the churches wanted to ensure that people were not fucking, uh, uh, people were in like committed relationships with their wives in monogamous relationships. 
so they weren't spilling their seed elsewhere. Prostitution isn't even as big as a taboo as Americans think it is in most other cultures around the world. But a part of like the reason why prostitution is considered to be uh, a big taboo is because if you're out fucking prostitutes, you're not fucking your wife. You're not staying at home fucking your wife and like having multiple children. You know? Didn't Amaranth say she made a million dollars a month? Doesn't that month seem degrading too. to me, to be honest? In fact, it sounds pretty liberating. Yeah, exactly. Please read this one. As a leftist, I think we should always support sex workers, but not the sex trade. What does that even mean, dude? I, I like... The entire world was Europe? Do you not recognize that uh, through colonialism and um, through... Because of colonialism and imperialism, like European culture pretty much did become the entire world's culture by force for the most part. Another reason is also because of illegitimate heirs having right to property, certainly. There is a materialist uh, uh, foundation for all of this. Anyway, morals equals boring and being poor. OnlyFans equals $1 million dreams coming true. But what does OnlyFans have to do with morals? This is an uneducated guess, but I'd wager that women selling themselves cause some men to not respect women and to view women as objects to be purchased. Dude, everybody knows. Everybody knows that before OnlyFans, like women were so respected, dude. We respected women so much that we forced them to be in kitchens, uh, taking on traditional gender roles that we associated with uh, womanhood and also routinely uh, did rapes uh, probably more than we do now. So that's, you know, but then OnlyFans came around and of course that all changed. Women as options to be purchased. If that's true, then it's immoral for women to sell themselves through sex work. Of course, again, um, no, uh, patriarchal understandings of women do not come from uh, men thinking that women are selling their bodies or whatever. As a matter of fact, sex work like this has been, a, has been such a controversial subject because it is liberating for a lot of women to monetize their own uh, objectification and set the terms for their own objectification and be able to make money off of their own objectification rather than being objectified for other people's gains in an inappropriate manner. Doesn't this is the reason why a lot of people fucking absolutely hate sex work and get mad at sex can work and can't fucking, uh, you know, uh, can't deal with it. If that's true, then it is immoral for women to sell themselves through sex work, whether it's online or offline, because it negatively impacts other women. I support you could, I suppose you could argue that those men should just be more mature, but we don't live in an ideal world where people think rationally or even agree on a variety of topics. I'd also say that women making millions of dollars on OnlyFans is unjust because men don't have the same opportunity available to them. This creates a class divide between genders. A class divide between genders? Where women get rich simply because they're women and fosters resentment among men? What the fuck? Wait, he literally advocated for men to have OnlyFans and make more money. But his starting point was that this is logically inconsistent in the same paragraph, dude. If the premise, the false premise that you're starting off with is that uh, women uh, do sex work and therefore they are objectified, then how are you going to fucking wrap up your argument with men should be objectified in a similar capacity and make as much money as women? Like, not only is this completely logically inconsistent, it's even, that's my favorite thing. When someone builds their own, like, little logic bubble that is completely illogical, but then own themselves in that same, like, illogical bubble that they've created. Like, you're building a universe for yourself, and you're not even abiding by the rules that you set for yourself in that universe.
Anyway. Lego. He also said we can't expect men to be more mature and women are responsible for men's horniness. I mean, there's so much going on there. There's just like every part. Every part of this take is bad. Women making OnlyFans, this is immoral and we should stop them. Men objectifying women. Look, society isn't perfect. We can expect any more from them, but any more from men. A close friend who streams on Twitch does OnlyFans. She's gorgeous. I'm super proud of her making her way in the world. The thing I don't understand is like, sometimes I'll have fans that have like my free cams, right? And it's like, dude, and I'll see like, I'll see how attractive they are or how cool they are. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, how are you just still like, I almost want to help them and be like, dude, all you got to do is like literally fucking stream on Twitch a little bit, get a only fans. And, and you know, like you're already a fucking gamer. Like, what are you doing? Like, there's so much. <laughs> I want to help people become more successful at sex work. I don't know if that's fucked up or not. If you fap, you're a misogynistic prick. Yeah, dude, totally. Jerking off to uh, a sex worker's uh, content, which is literally built so you can jerk off to it, is actually misogyny. Soda Poppin said the same thing. Yeah, well, because Soda Poppin and I are both... What the fuck? Strike a dragoon. Thank you for the 100 gifted subs. What the fuck was that, dude? That was crazy. My man just showered me, dude. Let me become better at sex work. I'm begging you, lol. I want to offer like a Logan Paul style service for sex workers to get like better. Uh, for sex workers to get better like at selling themselves. Seriously. Fellas, is it misogynistic to jerk off? <laughs> it's like saying all sex under a patriarchal construct is technically rape. That's some good ass fucking feminist discourse, rad femme discourse right there. My man pretending women don't get off the porn too. I know that that conversation is advanced level, which is funny. It's like no one ever wants to talk about how much like uh, sex work can be positive for marginalized groups. One to recognize their sexuality and learn a little bit better. Uh, and, and how many like gay people, like how many members of the LGBT uh, community uh, watch porn and consume porn. Women consume porn. It's like, Everybody fucking looks at porn. Mendo, stream sniper gets baited into a 4K exposure. Yo, why are you roof camping, bro? Why are you roof camping? All you do is roof camp. Why are you door camping, bro? Why are you door camping, bro? Yo, you realize I didn't say anything in the game, right? I wasn't saying anything in game. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear it, Pico, but I was screaming at them. Why are you door camping? And I was not holding on my push to talk. He responded to me. Oh, no, dude. Fucking clap. Absolutely rolled, smoked, comstered, dumpstered. Hot Chubby shows haggling skills in Mexican street market. Wow.
So much better than Austin, dude. Yes, I like one. Can I go down If he can do 25, we can do 20. Come on, Hancho, we pressure more. Ye et foggers. Questionable phrasing during Richard Branson's space flight. Oh, dude, I can't believe this happened. Remember Remember the day, remember where you are, and remember who you this. shared this with, and remember the name Virgin Galactic, because today, space is virgin territory. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. That's so dumb. Oh, my God. Pretty good. Good stuff. It's fucking good stuff. The culmination of a life's work, more than a half a century since the world rejoiced in and was transformed by humans leaving planet Earth. Chat, y'all are, are you ready, dude? Space is your territory Richard now. Richard Branson fulfills his long-held dream of experiencing space with his crew. Congrats. Remember the day, remember where you are. Space Ace. Shatter's own space. Team USA loses in is one of the greatest upsets in FIBA history. Dude, this is crazy. How did this happen? One of my one of my Nigerian friends was posting about this. I was like, there's no shot this is real. Missed them both. The final heave from midcourt and beyond, and Nigeria has upset the United States in an exhibition game. 90 to 87. And for that national team, that is the biggest win in the country's history. And to your point, maybe the continent of Africa for any nation. Bob, you nine years ago in London, you saw it firsthand. What was it? 70 plus points? It was 156 to 73 in the 2000. Wait, why can't Nigeria be better than the U.S.? Hello? Do I have to describe to you how dominant America has been historically in basketball? Like, what? At basketball, dude? It's literally like... I don't know if you've heard of it. There's a league called the NBA. As a matter of fact, NBA is so powerful that half the time other teams that are good are only good because they have NBA players, like players that play in America. They were so talented that they went to play in the NBA. And America sometimes will stop players from playing for their uh, uh, national teams and threaten them. I don't know if they still do that anymore. The United States beat Nigeria 156 to 73 at the 2012 Olympics. Yeah, they they haven't forgotten, I guess. Bam Adebayo is Nigerian, but played for the Team USA and lost. Also, resources. This dude is fishing for you to say that they're black. It's basketball. <laughs> like, what the fuck is Team USA? Have you never seen Team USA? It's literally, yeah, yeah our team is, is uh, predominantly black too. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ.
But it was so racist. It was the same people calling them monkeys and scammers and shit. Okay, but I don't understand. Like, how can you be... Okay, this is actually, I do understand. It's like, it's the same energy as like really racist white dudes like listening to rap music, but then also throwing up like, you know, the 1350 stats and stuff. But it's so wild when you're like, I'm a fan of basketball. And then you turn around and you're like being racist to the Nigerian team. Hello? Like, what are you doing? You're... Yeah. Have you not seen the the American team? Like, what what the fuck are you doing? Calling stats racist, lol. Statistics are not racist, my friend. A bastardization and a misinterpretation of statistics exclusively to justify mass incarceration and mass policing as though it's an occupying force on an entire community of people is. That's the difference. But of course, you can take the context out and then fucking act like, oh, that's just stats, bro. No. You're just utilizing that stat to do racist shit. Here, I will, uh, I will do that for you, okay? I think all white men should be in jail, okay? I think all white men should be placed under round-the-clock surveillance non-fucking-stop because they make up the overwhelming majority of pedophiles. I see a white man and I assume they're a pedophile and they should go to prison for it. Whether they're actually a pedophile or not doesn't matter. It's justifiable to lock them away. You would never say that, right? That would be an insane fucking thing to say. It's the same exact take that you have when you fucking throw up, oh, 13% of the violent crime arrests, by the way. Not even fucking, like, actual crime, but just arrests are done by, or 50% or of the violent crime is done by 13% of the population. I love being here. Are you happy, chatter? Are you familiar with Barstool? What is this? He's one of the good ones, Mike. KFC. We lost to Nigerian basketball. Do they even have... What? Who? You know he what? I'm just going to go watch the UFC. Wait, what? What does he mean, foo? He means they have no food? This one was so racist that it escaped my brain. Like, that's like weirdly old school racism. You know what I mean? It's like... Like engaging in uh, starving Africans uh, memes. Like, what the fuck? When, you're, when, you, when you hit that old school racism button so hard, it like flies over my head. Also, in this community turning around and saying, I'm just going to go watch UFC, dude. Wait, uh, uh, I I'm not a big fight guy, but pretty sure the UFC has a lot of Nigerian champions. Uh, like uh, Usman is one of them, right? Israel Adesanya. Don't they have like fucking hella Nigerian champs right now? Francis uh, Nagano. I don't know how to say that last name. Also, looking at Nigeria and being like, they're so poor is, uh, you know, just like automatic self-report that you literally do not understand anything about the African continent considering that they are, like, literally the Why wealthiest uh, country fragile. there. But, you know, that's a... That's another uh, funny take. That's the same energy as, like, you know, uh, missing out on the top of the hour ad break. And then uh, not subscribing to avoid said ad breaks. 
with a $5 subscription or with a Twitch Prime. Which is free. It is. Or an ad block or a VPN. Here's the ad break. Now, um, so... Yeah, see, someone, yeah, someone already clapped back. Israel Adesanya and Kamaru Usman were running the game in that too. Watch your mouth. Who's this guy? Um, no, what I was going to say is this is the exact same energy as uh, when, when people who are like racist get so mad when I tell them that like, uh, Nigerians are more educated uh, on average than white people in America. And they're like, that's not true. Nigerians are literally the most, they have the highest uh, uh, percentage of, of um, degreed uh, individuals in the United States. Like, there's a reason for it. Check those fucking primes. Yeah, they points. have the most number. Like, I mean, they have the highest percentage of PhDs. They have all of that. And people will get so butthurt when you say that. They're like, what? Be provide your source? Literally, just Google it, dude. Please, just Google it. You will find the, the statistic. Just Google it if you don't believe me. I'm not your fucking Google. Just Google it. If you don't believe me, Google it. You should always do that regardless. Their degrees aren't worth shit here. Fake degrees. Their degrees aren't worth shit here. Um, nice of you to join us, you dumb racist moron. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, it offends your feelings that uh, a African country is significantly more educated uh, with respect to the immigrants that uh, come into the United States than your fucking cousin fucking pig fucking dumb White monkey eyes. ass, okay? But, unfortunately, facts do not care about your stupid racist feelings. Two-month subscriber. Wait, actually, I'm going to unban him. I want to see what they have to say first. Fuck, Ayo! Really? That's it? That's all you got? You dumb fuck? It is one of the, it is one of the best ways to, it is one of the best ways to fucking get people to self-report when you talk about, when you talk about Nigerians and, and education. Literally just like people lose their fucking minds. Please don't ban. Okay. Fuck you. That's all you got. Bachelors and Beyond in America. I think it's like 14% of Nigerians uh, versus 7% of white people. Uh, isn't that the... I'm just like going off top of my mind here. Oh, it's 8% of the white population in the U.S. has master's degrees. And 1% held doctorates. About 19% of white residents has bachelor's degrees. Asians come close to Nigerians with 12% holding masters and 3% having doctorates. The Nigerian numbers are strikingly high. What the fuck is it? Also, I love when like uh, American white will turn around and be like, those degrees don't um, those degrees don't mean shit uh, in America. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize your fucking PhD meant anything. Like your PhD doesn't mean shit either. Jackass. 
Just another source with stats. Take it as you will. The thing is, it's a faulty comparison to compare an entire race of people to uh, one nation. These that's the racists. actual. That's the actual, Three. like logical counter to that. But racists get so mad that, like, instead of thinking about it logically and being like, "Well, why would you compare one nation's uh, individuals to the entirety of the white race?" Uh, instead of like actually accurately dismissing that statistic. They literally just say, that's not true. They, you're fucking wrong. Their degrees don't mean anything. Which is why I love talking about it. A lot of the Nigerians that come here also get their degrees in the United States of America. The thing is, if you are from Nigeria and you've been able to immigrate to the United States, that means you're probably a very, very wealthy Nigerian regardless. So, of course, you are going to be well-educated. That's the difference. That's why the, the model minority myth does not actually work either. Because the difference is, like, unlike most black people living in the United States, like, Asian people that are immigrating uh, from a multitude of different countries with, like, very different backgrounds, too are not uh, immigrating from the same socioeconomic conditions. Okay? Friendly reminder, we were on LSF. Wait, didn't I finish LSF already? I thought we... Oh, yeah, the Nigerian... The 12 okay, Olympics in London, the U.S. over Nigeria. Here we are, nine years later... Mike Brown has led Nigeria to a victory over the United States. This will be a constructive eye-opener for Team USA. There's no question. Give Nigeria credit for an amazing effort. But this could be, this will be a wake-up call for Team USA. Did you already play CPAC today? We're waiting for Trump. Waiting on Donald Trump. Streets of London covered in trash during the Euro 2020. Dude, I saw a video. Football rubbish. I saw a video of a dude with a fucking, with a micro penis just dancing on top of a car with like everybody filming him already on my Twitter feed. And I've seen enough. Okay. I've seen enough, dude. I don't want to see it. They need to abolish footy, bruv. They do. It's growing room, it's growing room. You can't say that here. Oh, the state of the floor here. It wasn't this bad last time. <laughs> He's gonna lose his tires. I already ran the ad, chatters who are saying the only thing, like chatters who are trying to put a segue in here, I already ran the ad. It's the boy, bruv. It's the Piccadilly Circus, bruv. That's where the fucking COD map is, right? That's where the fucking COD map is, bruv. That's a Call of Duty map. Video game store owner DS Koopa is calling out Ninja about their date. Wait, what? Yo, Ninja, were you aware you were by awesome? God knows who? So Child's Play it says, Cody, I hope you have a great time at Mixer playing with Ninja. Thank you for all your support of Child's Play. I always win something every year from Child's Play. Uh, you know, support the cause and whatnot. But uh yeah, it didn't it never worked out, unfortunately. So I I'm suing Microsoft. I don't put Ninja at fault. I bet he did. I guarantee, I, I put 99% chance he didn't even know what this was. He had no idea about this at all. They might have signed him up for this. I <laughs> just thought, by God knows who. So Child's Play, it says, It's fucking nuts, dude. Hundred Thieves member explains uh, Twitch emotes at a party. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. GHB team on top. 
I don't even want to see more photos because they probably had sex immediately. This is usually what happens. When you start explaining Twitch emotes at a party, it's like it's over. It's undefeated. <laughs> this is pretty funny. You got the Sigma, you got the Sigma Alpha framing. <laughs> Same energy straight up. I'm pretty sure that girl's a Twitch streamer, LMAO. Wait, really? How the fuck does she not know what uh, Poggers is then? Stage photo for likes? Because she's not an L normie. Sometimes people stage photos for social media. Is he? Yeah, he's mansplaining emotes, dude. Stop it. Wait, let's see. I think they're tagged in the photo. Waifu? Oh, shit. She follows me. Wait, they do cosplay. I don't know if they're actually... I don't know if they actually just... I, oh, it says esports. Oh, they definitely... Actually, I don't know if they stream. Trump is up? Are you, are you debating? Are you serious? She's cute, dude. Oh, they're dating. Okay, this was definitely staged, dude. Or are they dating? I don't know. This was the uh, investigation staged. The Hasanabi Detective broadcast has provided to you. They're dating because he fucking showed her the. They're dating because he showed her the emotes, dude. That's what happens, boys. Smash Brothers in the background. Myth busted. Unfollows? No, why the fuck would I do that? You fucking Two freaks. Is CPAC actually showing Donald Trump? He posted a screenshot of your DMs on June 28th. What? No, she didn't. Why do you keep saying that? Sounds worried. Why the fuck would I be worried? It's like not true. I don't know who the fuck that person was until literally moments ago. Listen, chatters will literally say anything, okay? Guess what? All of us of CPAC have joined. Are you proud to be standing with President Trump in this lawsuit against big tech? Question, do people who uh, couple or duo streaming have one channel so or one for each? So how do you each? think these guys reacted to us joining the lawsuit? Okay, this shit sucks. I just want to see Trump. I don't care about anything else. Unless they're like other famous hogs, you know what I mean? Consequences of having body count in the triple digits. Thoughts on Austin supporting England in Hoscord right now. It's this type of person you want to be friends with. Disappointing. I know. I agree. How dare you? How do you do that? Wait, how do I? Where was the fucking LSF uh, thread? I'm, I'm like being bold as fuck on Twitter right now. Oh, we're back to LSF. Slap bullies misgive mod and says he would break the other arm too. What the fuck? Oh shit. Fuck! Oh, wait, is just chasing fuck you, you Senny! I'm glad your fucking arm's broken, pussy. <laughs> I watched that clip of you. I watched that clip of you. Oh my god, I think it's broken. I laughed, bro. I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! Oh, wait, so They're announcing Trump like he's a rock star. Oh! 
Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Come on, England. Like this video. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>